Here is how to create a fog effect. Outside of being a cool effect, adding fog in your photos will help you to create depth in your photo and to also help the viewer to focus on the most important part of the image and to make this part look sharper. So keep watching if you want to learn how to do it. So I have this image from Marrakesh in Morocco and what I want to teach you today is to create this uh, fog effect here that adds a dimension, a separation and a depth in the photo. So it's very easy to do in Photoshop. Let's see how we can do that together. So we are going to do that from uh, this step. And what we want is to create a new layer. And then you want to brush uh, the color of the fog effect that you're gonna want to have. So here I'm gonna choose, uh, I'm gonna sample with Alt on my keyboard, uh, the highlight that are here and I am quite happy with the um, color. So yeah, I'm picking this color and then with a very low opacity, so something like 10%, I think, I'm going to brush where I want to have my uh, fog effect. So for me, I want it to be around here because we see that the light is coming from here because uh, of the light uh, reflecting on uh, the wall. So here I am brushing and I try to stay where I want to the I want the fog effect. But after we are going to create a mask to separate this wall here and this little um, thing here. So now you can see before and after I have my uh, light coming from the side just like I want. And now here is what we are going to do. You need to follow uh, this step very carefully. So you are going to create a mask. So to create a mask, you click here on this icon. And then you go to filter, you go to render, and you choose clouds. It is going to create this. Uh, this is kind of clouds. And now you want to click on this icon here, so it disappear. And then Command T to uh, resize the clouds. So if you prefer to see the clouds, you just click Option, click on the mask, Command T, and then you can make it bigger so it looks more like fog. So me, I prefer to see the photo. So I see like this. And the thing that is going to happen is that the clouds are not going to appear everywhere on the image. It's going to appear only where you have been brushing just before. So you can see before and after the clouds are appearing only where you have been brushing with the color on 10%. So that's why this step is very important. If you don't have this layer here, it's not going to work. So I'm making it bigger so it looks more like a fog. Okay. And then I'm going to create another one. So what I do is that I want the exact same thing. So I'm going to do Command G. So it duplicates my layer. If you don't want to use keyboard shortcuts, you can do a right click and duplicate layer. By the way, if you need help learning your keyboard shortcuts, I'll put a link in the description. And now that we, are our, that we have our duplicated layer, we're gonna take the mask, do again Command T to uh, resize, and we want to rotate it so it changes a bit. So it's not the exact same texture and the exact same fog, and it adds uh, another layer to the fog we already did. It helps to emphasize the effect. So you can see before and after, before and after, it creates a nice fog effect. So I'm zooming in a little bit before and after. Now we don't want the fog effect to appear on this wall and this here because we want uh, to have the impression that it's behind all of those uh, wall. So what I'm gonna do is to create a group. So common J or new group, common J, I will call it fog. And we are going to add a mask to this group and this is going to affect our two layers, so that's why we are creating a group. So I create my mask, 
and then I'm going to make my selection. So to make a selection, I'm going I'm going to use the pen tool. So P on your keyboard. And then I want to select all the parts where I don't want to see uh, the fog appearing. So here I have my uh, selection. So I click on selection, OK. And then with a black uh, color, 100% opacity, I'm going to brush on my mask so all of this part disappear from the fog effect. And now let's do command D to deselect. And you can see that's before the mask and after the mask, before and after. And this is before the effect and after the effect. Now, if you wanna clean a bit more, of course you can, you choose brush B on your keyboard. And then for example, I don't like the effect to be too close here on this wall or on the ground. So with a black color, I'm just erasing uh, this part and because we are doing it in a mask, it's non-destructive and if I change my mind, I can always come back by brushing white. So before and after, this is a simple technique to create a fog effect in Photoshop. It will help your photos to have more depth and here is the final editing for this image. Thank you for watching that far. If you learned something today, please like the video. Let me know in the comments what you wanna learn next. And if you don't want to miss the next videos, subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one.